Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the solution for the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. And here we find this is capital P and this is capital Q and this entire term is capital R. So to get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now we are going to substitute PQR. So dx by 3x plus y minus z equal to dy by x plus y minus z equal to dz by this is 2z minus 2y. We multiply 2 inside. Now, we have to choose the appropriate Lagrange's multiplier in such a way to get the solution easily by reducing the terms. So, as the first part, we are going to use Lagrange's multiplier. Lagrange's multiplier. This is 1. And if I multiply this with minus 3, then by adding this 3 and this 3x will get cancelled and again this is minus 1. So let's copy the original terms as it is. After that I am going to use a multiplier. So first term is copied, second term is copied and the last term is also taken down. Now using this multiplier this multiplier 1 we have to multiply with both numerator and denominator minus 3 have to multiply with both numerator and denominator and again here minus 1 I have to multiply with both numerator and denominator using the ratio properties I am going to add all the numerator that is dx minus 3 dy minus dz entire thing divided by this is 3x plus y minus z this is minus 3x minus 3y plus 3z and this is minus 2z plus 2y let's see the terms here 3x minus 3x gets cancelled and these two combined is z that will combine with minus z and gets cancelled and these two is combining minus 2y that cancel with plus 2y and everything becomes 0. So the entire denominator is 0. Now I am going to take this term and this term and this term I am going to take without the multiplier. So without the multiplier it will be dz by 2z minus 2y equal to here it is dx minus 3 dy minus dz whole division 0. Now when I cross multiply the center term will be multiplied with 0 and after that the terms remaining is dx minus 3 dy minus dz equal to 0. Now we integrate this on both the sides. So it is x minus 3y minus z equal to 0. There is an integration constant. So we take it as c1. So this is named as a. Now in the same way we have to choose another set of multiplier. And here for using another set of multiplier we have to make the terms carefully. So before that let us copy the terms dx by 3x plus y minus z. dx by 3x plus y minus z equal to dy by the terms are x plus y minus z x plus y minus z equal to dz by the expanded denominator is 2z minus 2y 2z minus 2y so here to make the terms easier for integration we have to use two set of multipliers so using Lagrange's 
multiplier one is one minus one and one and another one is one one and minus one and after applying the multipliers here the first multiplier and adding all the numerators using the ratio property this into 1 right so this is dx then minus means minus dy and 1 in 1 means again plus dz the same way we have to combine the denominators so 3x plus y minus z minus y means it means sorry minus 1 means minus x minus y plus z and the last term it is with 1 so 2z minus 2y and again equal to we apply the another multiplier 1 1 and minus 1 so applying the multiplier and adding all the numerators we get dx plus dy minus dz whole division again combining all the denominator 3x plus y minus z then plus x plus y minus z minus 2z plus 2y so in the same step we have applied the two set of multipliers and we use the ratio property where we add the numerator separately and denominator separately now let's take the simplification of this so I'm going to take the first term that is dx minus dy plus dz whole division so here let's see the x terms so this becomes just 2x 3x minus x is 2x again this is plus y minus y gets cancelled we left with minus 2y here these two gets cancelled we left with plus 2z in the same way the another term is dx plus dy minus dz whole division so this is 3x and x so it is 4x now y term if i check this is 2y y and y totally 4y and again z if i combine we get minus 4z now once again from here we take d common it is x minus y plus z divided by 2 is common again x minus y plus z and on the other side again d common it is x plus y minus z whole division when 4 is common again it is x plus y minus z so we can cancel this and we can take integration on both the sides so we notice it is in the form of dt by t that will become log t so these two terms are same so this entire term is treated as t so dt by t in the same way this entire term is treated as t here so dt by t when it is dt by t form when we integrate on integration we get log t so here it is log of x minus y plus z which is equal to even this Two can be cross multiplied and taken to this place so we get 2 here and on the other side it is log of x plus y minus z since everything is log instead of the constant c2 we take it as log c2 now using the power rule this will come to the power so it is log of x minus y plus z whole square equal to here we combine the log terms which is log of x plus y minus z into c2 by removing log we get x minus y plus z whole square equal to x plus y minus z into c2 from this we get x minus y plus z whole square whole division x plus y minus z will be our c2 and that can be 
taken as the constant b already we have a constant a now combining these two we are going to write the general solution so now the general solution will be in the form of f of a comma b equal to 0 so from here f of our a is from this that is x minus 3y minus z x minus 3y minus z and here b is x minus y plus z whole square whole division x plus y minus z which is equal to 0. Thus we got the general solution for the given partial differential equation using the Lagrange's multiplier 